Hello, my name is Latif Al Maktoum. I was born on December 5, 1985. Um, my mom is Huria Ahmed Lamara. She's from Algeria. My father is the uh, Prime Minister of UAE and uh, the ruler of Dubai, Mohammed bin Rashid Said Al Maktoum. And I'm making this video because it could be the last video I make. Pretty soon, I'm going to be leaving somehow, and I'm not so sure of the outcome, but I'm 99% positive it will work. And if it doesn't, then this video can help me because all my father cares about is his reputation. The case of Sheikha Latifa bint Muhammad Al Maktoum made international headlines on Tuesday after the BBC released excerpts from video diaries she said were recorded in a locked bathroom inside the Dubai villa where she was being held. Sheikha Latifa was detained by commandos off the coast of India in 2018 after she tried to flee Dubai in a yacht. Friends say they are concerned for Sheikha Latifa's safety because she hasn't been heard from since she stopped responding to text messages six months ago. The 35-year-old princess is the daughter of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the hereditary ruler of Dubai who also serves as Prime Minister and Vice President of the United Arab Emirates. The secretive ruler's family life was thrust into the news in 2019 when his estranged wife Princess Haya fled to London and sought custody of her two children through British courts. Last year, a British judge ruled that the Sheikh had conducted a campaign of fear and intimidation against Princess Haya and ordered the abduction of two of his daughters, including Sheikha Latifa. Sheikha Latifa's former personal trainer Tina Yahuyainen told AP that her friend recorded the video diaries on a phone that was smuggled to her about a year into her detention. In the videos, the princess says she was worried about her safety and her life. She also said the Emirati authorities wanted her to make propaganda videos, saying she was happy but she refused. Her supporters chose to make the videos public out of fear of her life, Yahuyainen said. The matter has now been taken into cognizance by the UN and Rupert Colville, a spokesman for the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, told the BBC that other parts of the UN human rights system with relevant mandates may become involved once they have analysed the new material or received specific allegations. Sheikh Mohammed and the Dubai Royal Court have said Latifa is safe in the loving care of her family. The UAE government's Dubai media office has not responded to the news so far.